Hey guys, JH. Okay, we're on the practice putting green today, obviously. Okay guys, I want to tell you about something that... Well, it's not so much as I've discovered. I've known about it for a long time, but it was really evident when I did a, a survey recently with a whole bunch of guys, about a hundred guys I tested. And I wanted to determine what a real putting stroke is. Now, I don't even know if it's a stroke or if it's an action, but what it shouldn't be is it should never ever be a hit. And guys, I've got to tell you, of the hundred guys that I tested, it was amazing that I couldn't find anybody who didn't have a hit in their putting stroke. And I'm talking about really good players to Okay, the club players, you can understand that, but, but really good players? And when I look at it on the tour now, after being so cognizant of the fact that just about everybody's got a hit, I'm amazed at how many guys have a hit in their putting. And how that hit varies when they're not putting well. So guys, what this is about is how to eliminate the hit and actually have what I call a putting flow or a terminology that I'm going to put on I'm going to put on zero G it's basically suspended hit there is no hit we're not looking for a hit we're looking for the elimination completely of any hit factor none so if you took all the intensity and propensity for a hit away and you suspended all that you'd probably have zero G there'd be nothing there'd be no true energy applied as a feeling as a perception now there has to be some energy applied in a putting stroke just from a from a physics point of view because I mean that's energy applied there but how we apply that energy is the secret <clears throat> and guys what it is I've found and it's extraordinary since I've since I've adapted it is that the minuscule differential there will be times when you miss a putt when you think okay it's it's basically a dead straight putt I know it's a dead I've had this putt before and the ball will miss left or right and guys I can tell you that the reason that happens is that there is pressure or impetus applied deliberate impetus and pressure uh, applied to the club face and it'll either be that way or that way so it'll be open or closed or even down so if we had this suspended and we talk about this we talk about a true pendulum stroke now a true pendulum stroke and I'm no I'm no physicist but a true pendulum stroke is basically the mass there getting itself going once it's moved through a a duration of um, of distance now there's, there's nothing deliberate there okay everybody says oh you've just got to stroke the ball but what is stroking the ball and guys it, it was amazing and I got guys to try it and I just couldn't get anybody that could get rid of the hit. And when we did some close-ups, even on their hands, just with, with mobile phones and stuff like that, it was amazing how, how you could actually see the flints and, what, and what, what, was, what was going on in the putting stroke. So I, I basically spent a few days just getting rid of the flinch. And guys, what it is for me is that I suspend the putter so the putter is in my hands and I can feel it it's not on the ground I don't have to lift it because as soon as you lift it off the ground you're picking up the weight of it that's something different to when it's on the ground now as soon as you pick it up the hands are active and the senses are active and as soon as you do that you've activated you, 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 you preordained a hit that's exactly what's going on you preordained the hit so what we want to do is eliminate the hit completely, entirely. So half the reason that I find that the hit 
is is designed uh, or is implied or is applied is because the lift off the ground. As soon as you lift it off the ground, you, you've activated the sensors, and we don't want to activate the sensors. This guy walking around here, I don't think he's got any sensors. Totally oblivious to what's going on here. Um, okay, so, so first rule of thumb is that we suspend the putter. We already get the weight. Now, once we've activated the sensors, okay, we just want to calm them down. Once they've activated, we just want to calm them down. We just want to calm them down. Once they've been activated, we want to calm them down. We don't want to bring them up here, have them activated, and then go. So we just get to get it up in the air, feel it, feel it, have a little feel of it here. And what that's doing is that's, that's bleeding out the tension and the, and, the, and the sensors being activated. We don't want any of that. That's bleeding out the sensors and the activation. Okay, so that's the first rule. Suspend it here and then feel it and just get the feeling of it. Now, now we're motivating that golf club there. Okay, p people say don't use your hands. Well, you can't use your hands. In, uh, you can't eliminate your hands in something like this because they're hanging onto the golf club. But what we want to do is we want to use them as basically just something to stop the putter falling onto the ground. It's, it's just a, a capture mechanism here. There's no pressure. So, so how do I get the, the putter to move without a, employing a hit? How do I do that? Well, for me, I get these angles here. I set those angles there, but they're very softly set. I set them, they're soft. And guys, I feel, what I want to do is I want to eliminate these uh, in, in terms of, of coming into the game. And so how do I eliminate these if these are just hanging onto the golf club? I, I don't want there to be any more than a device to hang onto them. So guys, I, I've moved the, 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 the mental sort of um, stimulus for moving the golf club away from my hands and I've taken it to the inside of my elbow on both elbows here and there when I move now as soon as I move those I can feel the weight of this and I can feel my hands absolutely passive and docile they're not doing anything absolutely not doing anything Abs zero zero gravity or zero G so I've taken the emphasis from here, the feelers, the activators, the sensors, to here, which are basically, Mo Norman would call these dumb guys. They're not activators, they're not doing anything. They're basically just there, they're not doing anything. And I promise you, once, and it won't take you long to do it, but once you do do it, You'll be amazed at at how this this then becomes um, it's just a servant. It's not going off by itself. It, it it's being controlled exactly by what you want to do with it. So I've got the putter up, and just do this, guys. Just just at home, just try and move the putter before you hit the ball and really try and eliminate the hit you don't want any hit just try and eliminate it see if you can actually move the putter without applying any sensors to it there just 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 completely eliminate the hit So, so we've got the putter up in the air and we're, and we're focusing in on the, if you want to have a little bit here for the feel of it, but move the elbows, the inside of the elbows. I promise you, they're dumb guys, as Mo Norman would say. And we move the elbows 
and there's no hit. No hit. Absolutely no hit. There is no hit in that stroke. I, I remember Dave Stockton saying that what you want to do in a putting stroke, first and foremost, is roll the ball. Now you can't roll the ball if you're hitting it, because as soon as you hit it, you invariably hit it into the ground and it'll bounce. You want to roll the ball. So, we, so we've got it up in the air, we're feeling it. We now move to the, to the dumb guys, which are the insides of the elbows. And, and we just move those. And, and the putt ahead, guys, basically, it's just there. It's just part of the action, but it's not really something that we're thinking about. That is the purest roll, just straight in the hole. I mean, the most pure roll. You can't even believe what that roll is like. It's perfect. So we've got it up here, we, we activate the dumb guys. Elbows, not hands, not fingers. All the hands are doing are stopping the putter from falling on the ground. But we suspend it, so, we, so we've got it here, okay, we've got that little bit of activation of the sensors, but once we bleed that out, we just move the elbows, the dumb guys. It's as pure as a driven snow, guys. Absolute pure as a driven snow. So we get the, get it up here. Well, if, if when you walk into putt, after you've picked up your line, if you can not put the putter down on the ground, because once you put it down on the ground, you've got to lift it off the ground, which means you're going to activate the sensors. So just, just keep it up in the air. Get it in behind the ball. Keep it up in the air. Now I don't, have, I don't put it on the ground, so I don't need to activate the sensors. I just don't need to do that. I've got those dumb guys there, and I'm just going to move the dumb guys. And, and the dumb guys move the putter. That's the purest stroke, guys. You can't even believe what that's like. It's just as pure as. Now it was extraordinary to test all those golfers, and I'm, I'm talking about good golfers. Uh, you, you can expect the club play because he's not an expert in putting most of the time. And it's a little bit hit and miss and ad hoc stuff. So we've got the putter here. The hands are on it, but they're not it, what's going to do the putting. The dumb guys are going to do the putting. The insides of the elbows, guys, here. That portion there. It's like if you had a brace there. The roll that you get is extraordinary. It's amazing how many guys really do hit down on the ball, how many bounce the ball, how many skid the ball. But with this, you don't. It rolls very, very quick. It depends on the type of putty you've got, the type of loft you've got. but. But I, I oh, the putter head is absolutely irrelevant, totally irrelevant. There's no hit, none. The ball, the ball just gets in the way. Pure as a driven snow. Get it here, feel it. So we're not we're not getting an extra activation because the sensors are not coming into it. And believe it or not, guys, I find that it's much easier to align the face of the putter if you want to, if you're a person that aligns the face of the putter. I always align the back of the putter. I look at the back, not the front. But that's just a personal thing. But it's much easier to align the, you know, the, like you know, a lot of guys in, in the old days used to put the the putter up here, or they put it there, or they put it here. 
Kel Nagel, great Australian player, used to put it there, and he was the best putter in the world at, in his time. He used to put it there so he could see it. So you know, if you're holding it up in the air, it really does give you a better, a, a better um, perspective of the line. And then we're just going to move those dumb guys, those insides of the, of the elbows. So the, so the two things are, well the couple of things are, we don't want to have the putter on the ground because as soon as we, we elevate it, we've got the sensors going, whoops, they're feeling it. So have it up here, have it in your hands, get your grip right, get the feel of the putter. Now the putter's not expecting any surprises now, it's already had this here and has bled those feelers and those sensors out. It's already done that. So here it is. And you'll be amazed how well you can line the putter up guys when it's up in the air. Amazing. Just a perfect, perfect roll on the putter. So what are we doing? We're just eliminating the hit. There's no hit. We're just eliminating the hit. Because I promise you guys, you won't control a hit. There have been some good putters that actually hit the ball. Gary Plyer, Arnold Palmer, Ben Hogan, when Ben Hogan was, was the great putter. I mean, they were all rap putters. Um, Billy Casper, Brant Snedeker. But I think you've got to be an ex have extraordinary touch and, and talent and physicality and physiology to do that. You can't, most people can't control a hit or a tap or a rap. You just can't do that. Whereas here, we've eliminated that. We've just got the putter up, so we're not getting any new messages. Just get it there, and the ball just gets in the way. The ball gets in the way. Okay, we've heard that before. Don't hit, don't hit the ball, just let it get in the way. Yeah, but I mean, that's very hard to do. Okay, so here we are. We've got it up here. Everything's bleeding out. Got my elbows out. Here. Just going to move those dumb guys, as my normal would say. The elbows are dumb guys. We're just going to move it back, and the ball gets in the way. Perfect, guys. Okay, guys, it's just something that I think um, can really make a difference, because when I got some of the, some of the players really uh, tuned into it, they couldn't believe how, how well they rolled the ball and how the anxiety went out of it. They basically felt that the ball was an afterthought. And remember, the guys, the ball's irrelevant. The ball's got round sides on it, so don't line up to it as if it's got square sides on it. You know, line the putter up to the hole. Forget the ball. Don't be besotted by the ball and controlled by the ball. Always be here. The ball just happens to be there, but do all the focusing out there and, and, and triangulate back from there to the putter face. But forget the ball. The ball, ball's not going anywhere, and it's round. So you, can't, you don't want to line the face up to the ball because it's circular. If it was square, I'd say, yeah, but it's circular, so we want to line it up to that hole. There, that's where we want to go, so the ball's irrelevant. It's just there, and there it is. The dumb guys. Zero G. I promise you guys, when I, when I get in that mode there, where I've got the putter there, the, the putter is levitating, it's just floating. To use Lee Como terminology, it's levitating. Lee has occasions where he, he feels that his swing is levitating. And it does. We've got to talk about that going forward. So, okay, guys, just to summarise, don't ever put the putter on the ground. Because as soon as you put it on the ground, you're going to have to lift it. As soon as you lift it, you're, you're introducing new stimulus. Now, you've got to bleed that stimulus out. So, if the putter's up here and you're doing your rounds, just get it here. Even when you're walking around, guys, just feel it. Feel it. I mean, you don't have to have the putter here and walk around it. Just, just have it here. Feel the putter. And then we're not going to introduce any new stimulus because we've already got that feeling there. Whatever that is, it is. Now, it's not going to change because I'm not going to put it on the ground. And I'm just going to, to get the putter moving, I'm just going to move the insides of my elbows. The insides of my elbows. That's all I'm going to move. Nothing else. The insides of my elbows.
I'm going to have my elbows out. I'm going to rock the baby. And we don't want to jerk the, the baby when we rock it. Yeah, so, so get, get your grip on the putter as soon as you can. And so you've got that feeling of the putter head and you don't want that feeling to change. You don't want that feeling to change. Now putting it on the ground here and doing, and doing stuff. The, the only thing when you're over the ball, your, your grip should never change. Once you've taken it, it should never change. The only thing that'll change is maybe your stance for a balance and your eyes are train, coming backwards there, here, there, here. But we don't want to be putting it on the ground and fiddling with it, so here we are. So it's here. Put it down here. Guys, I promise you, I mean, I'm rolling the ball so good. And, and some of the guys I got going, the roll was extraordinary. Okay, what, my, 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 my modus operandi, if I'm going to putt, if that's the golf ball there, I'll take the putter out of the bag, I'll get it here. I'll take my grip here. I'll look at the face, very Count Yogi-ish. Have a look at the face here. And then I've got it. I can feel the putter. Then I'm looking at the hole, and I've got the putter up in the air, and I've got, I'm uh, uh, looking at the, the, the top of the, the putter, if you want to look at the face. There it is. And then I just bring it down to where I want it. And then just, there it is guys, straight in the hole. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, there's not much more to say, but what we're trying to do is eliminate unnecessary stimuli uh, or alerting any more senses that you don't want to alert at a critical time which is putting. So we've already got it here and this is nice because we're working our grip here we're feeling it that's good that's good looking at the hole this here I'm going here for balance balance here we go and I'm one of those guys that really don't worry about where the ball is I mean I'll usually feel it I usually feel it by the length of the putt and what, what I want from the putt. Sometimes it's up there. If I want to hit a long putt, I've got a 50 footer or something like that. Um, I'll get it up there. If I've just got a normal one, I'll just put it where I want. But I don't want my hands forward. I don't want my hands back. I just want them in the middle of my body. Right here. I don't have to do anything with the putter then. All I've got to do is just activate the dumb guys, which is the, um, the elbows. I don't have to do anything else. Just activate the dumb guys. Straight in. Okay guys, that's just something, okay, it might sound really simple, but I promise you, if you can eliminate the hit, and if you can eliminate the lift, you'll eliminate the sensors picking up. You just don't want the sensors uh, activating themselves unnecessarily at a critical time. We want to bleed all that out so that the stroke is uninterrupted in terms of uh, stimuli, uh, your muscle stimuli or blood pressure increase uh, through feeling the weight of the punt through the lift. But if it's already here, just just ele elevating the putter even. Just amazing how smooth the putting stroke is. Anytime, anytime you you lift the putter up, you've got to lift it, then move it. Whereas if it's here, you just swing it. I don't have to lift it, then move it. That is just logical sense if I lift it here I've got that's a two action but, but if it's here I can just get it going smoothly there it is okay guys just something I think it's got a lot of merit um, I'll do some more on but uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a great system and, and to get those really good players who thought they had a good stroke to see how much they actually hit the ball because all this is going on. Because that stimulus is there, the hands are active, and this is there, be it ever so small. Okay guys, have a look at that. Uh, I think it's worthwhile trying. <laughs>